I think that that's worth calling out. The Constitution exists yeah. above all three branches You're of government. You're a piece so. of sh Let me just say it. You're a piece of sh Sorry, you just are. To make that kind of characterization of me, to make a claim that you know nothing about, I've never taken a single dime from any other country, not even this country. Destiny engaged in a debate with MAGA right-wing radio host and YouTuber Kim Iverson. Kim Iverson threw out a lot of the typical MAGA talking points. This one got very heated between the two of them, and it was very entertaining. We're going to take a look at clips from this debate between Destiny and Kim Iverson. I'll share my thoughts from time to time. Time. Let's get into this together. Well, he never said, go down there and stop them and do all. He said, we're going to go down there and peacefully protest. That's what he actually said. You then want to put something else in his mind and in his mouth, just like you do for all of your fellow he said, Americans. Stop the steal. What does stop the steal mean? They he, they believed that the election was stolen. OK, you that, want, is a, that is something that is fine for a person to believe. Okay, and if you and think the election was stolen that. and if you think the election is stolen and you send a ton of people down to the Capitol building, where they're certifying protests. Why would you peacefully protest a stolen That's election? That's what he said. When That's no, he what didn't he said. say. He said, I know he you're going say. to go we're peacefully going to go protest. Down there and we're going to peacefully protest. He didn't say protest. that. No, you're putting words in his mouth. They never said that quote. You just made, you just but invented that quote. What, then you tell me the words that he said when he said, go he down said we there need and to fight. violently take it. No, he said, we need to fight, fight like hell. It. You need to fight like hell or you're going to lose your country. He said, we need to give these uh, weak Republicans, you know, something to fight for. We need to give them uh, a, a backbone. We need to help the strong ones. They're going to help us. Like these are, he made these statements over and I read you 20 statements that he made. It was an hour speech. Destiny, you make things up. You make things up about what people are thinking. You make things up about what people are saying. You, wow, you're making I it up. I haven't made up a single you, thing. You, you just made up a fantasy quote land. You what live fantasy, in a fantasy land? land? You need to focus on facts. What I am focusing on facts. Say? Well, I do focus on what people say. You're the one you're that you don't even you didn't you, even you know what the walk, legal theories were that, that you were oh, purporting all these early people that support RFK Jr. are just hateful. They hate the country. Yeah, a lot of them do. America. They do absolutely oh, one million Look percent. You it, it, look, you, you're just this making one. stuff up. What am I making up? This you haven't said a single thing. I'm making up. Thirty. Did Trump purposely block the right-leaning immigration bill that Republicans have wanted for years? Yay or nay? Yep. I think we covered that. Wait, there that was so a yes, sir, former... right? He did. He did intentionally block that. That was shot yeah, down. I'm sure just like Democrats blocked him previously. Wait, That's which Democrat political... called? Wait, what was a Democratic leader who shot down a bill that had the support of both halves of Congress? That, I'm sorry, what? What Democratic leader shot down a bill that was that had the support of both halves of Congress to pass? Which bill are you talking about? There was a bill that was ready to go that the uh, Republicans and Democrats supported right. in Congress. And Donald Trump said, no, keep the border open. I want to win the next election. This is great what Destiny does here because she claims that there are Democrats, that the Democrats do the same thing as Trump, that there's some, you know, Democratic leader out there getting them who's not in office, getting the Democrats to vote a certain way. And then Destiny calls on her, calls her on that to make to give a specific example of when that happened. And then she's just like, what are you talking about? Um, and to me, this doesn't get talked about enough in the media, the mainstream media, that we have Donald Trump, this guy who's not even in elected office, who can tell the Republicans, don't vote for a bill so I can get reelected. When have we, ha I, I don't know of a time since I've been alive, that that has happened. Do we have Barack Obama contacting the members of Congress and say, hey, don't vote, vote for this bill because that could be good for, Don you know, could get Donald Trump elected or when he was in office, you know, get him reelected, keep him in office. We don't have Bill Clinton or Hillary Clinton calling members of Congress. So this is unprecedented. I mean, at least in modern times that you have a guy who isn't even elect an elected official that has this kind of power over an entire party. And when they are claiming that immigration is the most important thing and all these immigrants are coming to get you, there's probably an immigrant under your bed right now just waiting to attack you. Or, you know, he's uh, he or she is in, in your yard just ready to pounce as soon as you walk out the door. This is the worst threat facing us. But yet, oh, uh, we don't want to vote on a bill because we want to wait a few months and so that our God King can get reelected. Is that not treason? You know, is that if, if this is the most, you know, if this is this, if immigration is this horrible security issue facing the United States and there are just these hordes of immigrants coming in and waiting to come in to just attack all of us, is it not treason to push that down the road so that your guy can get reelected. So then Republicans apparently opposed it because he doesn't have the power to just say, don't pass this bill. You can't pass this bill. People had to actually vote on that, right? 
So a bunch of Republicans decided to go along with what he wanted. Yes, they were bullied by Trump. How is that any Trump. different than what happened when Democrats were also blocking any sort of border bills under Don when Donald Trump was president? Because Democrats not agreeing with a bill and not wanting to vote for it is different than an independent leader like a Hillary Clinton or a Barack Obama or a Biden saying, guys, don't vote on this piece of legislation. We want how do you keep know what each, how each Democrat felt? I'm sure that there were Democrats that actually did agree, but they went with the party line. Because we can look and see what they say publicly and we have- Yeah, what they say publicly is to support the party line. Supporting the party line is different than this leader was telling us that we need to change our vote. The Republicans were on board with the border bill. What's until the difference? The party line is from the leadership. The difference is that there is a party line that people probably believe in and there are individual candidates that might put themselves over the party or the country, which is what Donald Trump did. The Republicans were ready to support a bill in Congress and Donald Trump said, don't support it. I want to win the next election. Democrats don't do that. Why are there so many former left wing? Like Destiny points out, they're putting their party over the country. Is that not treason? You know, we only ever hear about treason in terms of the military, but is it not treason to vote against a bill designed to protect the country? so that your guy can get reelected? Fingers turning into rank and file Republicans. What are your thoughts? Like a lot of Democrats are switching over to the Republican party. I mean, um, I think we're seeing a shakeup of the parties and we're seeing a lot of people from the right, like Dick Cheney move to the left. I wouldn't say right to left. I would say perhaps the parties are shifting uh, themselves. So we've seen, you know, like a lot of the, the intelligence community, the warmongering community, the military industrial complex, the Dick Cheney's of the world, supporting Democrats. And we're seeing people who had previously been Kennedy Democrats now supporting Republicans. I think what you're actually saying is just there are some people very far on the left who are anti-establishment, who hate the United States. And these people find themselves in easy company when it goes to aligning with people on the very far right. And then I think that the fact that like the whole MAGA people are generally just anti-establishment means that it's very easy to get anybody else that hates the United States or hates the establishment or takes foreign money from people like Russia or Iran or China uh, to all go and join their groups as well. So I think that it's a pretty easy alliance when you get a bunch of people that hate the state, hate the government, hate the institutions and are just in general anti-establishment. And they I stand don't pretend to know how people are thinking or feeling, nor do I have any desire to insult people. How, you don't know Just what people are thinking or feel. How do you make comments on anything publicly? I'm not going ever? to sit here and. This is another great point by Destiny. She says here that she's not going to pretend to know what people are thinking or feeling. But just a minute ago, Destiny talked about what the Democrats say publicly. And she says, well, you know, don't listen to what they say publicly. OK, that's what we have to go by is what they say publicly. So if she thinks they're saying one thing publicly and they're doing something else or believing something else, she's trying to make her own judgments on what those people are thinking, which she said she's not going to pretend to do. So he again, he catches her flat footed, which it's always fun to see Destiny do this to these MAGA right wingers like Kim Iverson. He's so good at it. And, and claim that all of these people hate America when they're participating in the democratic process. I'm not going to make those types of characterizations or call them basket of deplorables or do any sort of insulting of my fellow Americans because they're participating in democracy and they decide that the person that you want to vote for is not who they want to vote for. OK, well, that's great. I will call out people who I think take money from other countries and they don't declare it. People like who worked under Tenet Media, uh, other people that are still operating in this media environment, people like yourself, probably. Uh, I think it's worth calling those people out when they have other I kinds of allegiances to other from, countries. Are, are you claiming, one, are you making it? Did you just say that I'm taking money from any other? What did you just say? Probably, almost surely, yes. Um, and then number two, I think that it's worth calling okay. out people that I feel have anti-American ideas. So, for instance, when Donald Trump says he wants to destroy the Constitution or suspend the Constitution, I think that that's worth calling out. The Constitution exists yeah. above all three you're a piece so. of sh let me just say it you're a piece of sh sorry you just are to make that kind of characterization of me to make a claim that you know nothing about i've never taken a single dime from any other country not even this country i am completely independent and for you to make that sort of characterization that sort of slander that sort of slur right here in front of everybody you're a piece of sh and i speak for a lot of people when i say that i'm sure you do and i'm sure they're all flying to moscow right now nice comrade question. thank you question for both <laughs> so i love the end of that there um, she, so Kim Iverson, she can't really debate him straight up destiny. So she calls him names. Um, it, it's fun to, to me to watch him in these debates. Now he's a different kind of debater than David Pakman. I have a lot of, of debates with David Pakman on my channel as well. If you want to check those out, David Pakman is great because he never gets rattled. 
He never, and Destiny doesn't get rattled either, but David Pakman is always very calm. He's never, you know, mean or really condescending. And dissension, being condescending and being nasty is really kind of Destiny's forte. And he really demonstrates this here with Kim Iverson. So this was a really fun one to see her just get really pissed at the end and and start calling him names. But what do you think about this? This is a pretty short one. Um, How do you think things went here? Do you feel that Destiny won in this short clip of this debate? The whole thing is over 18 minutes long. You could go and check it out on Destiny's channel. But how do you think Destiny did in comparison to Kim Iverson? I admit I haven't seen a lot from her prior to this. She seems to do kind of the typical right-wing thing stuff. She's been labeled a conspiracy theorist as well, but she doesn't seem to have the facts on her side here with the points that she's trying to make about immigration and people from the people who are Democrats switching over to the right and vice versa. Let me know in the comments what you think about this debate between Destiny and Kim Iverson or comments about anything, anything you want to comment on. I love to read your comments Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel. I'm over 30,000 subscribers at this point and growing. And I want to keep growing so I can bring out more content like this. So if you enjoy this channel and you haven't subscribed, please do so. This is Chris on Culture, and I will see you in the next video.